hello viewers uh, once again uh, welcome to my new lecture so in this lecture i will teach you about the formulation of parentals products so as we know that parentals the terms derived from the greek word para mean outside and entron mean intestine so parentals are the sterile solutions or suspension of drug in aqueous or oily vehicle Parental drugs are administered directly into the veins, muscles, or under the skin, or more specialized tissues such as spinal cord. Term parental used for any drug fluid whose delivery doesn't utilize the elementary canal for entering into the body tissues. These are the uh, general requirements for parental's dosage form. So in pharmaceutics, you will have to check the stability of the parental dosage forms. The second one is sterility, which is also one of the important requirements for the parental's dosage form so whenever you are formulating any dosage form in the form of injections it must be free from phyrogens and toxin and it must be free from pollen particles and the parental's formulations must be isotonics and there must be a chemical favority Okay, so now uh, parental roots, uh, the term parental literally means to avoid the cut gastrointestinal tract and refers to any root of administration outside of or beside the elementary tract. Thus, the parentals are injectable drugs that enter the body directly and are not required to be absorbed in gastrointestinal tract before they show their effect. Parental route of administration usually have a more rapid onset of action than other routes of administration. There are different parental routes you can see here on my screen. It is intravenous, intramuscular, subcutaneous, intradermal, intraarterials, intracardiac, intrathecal, intracisternals, feridurals, and intraarticular and intracerebral. So let me explain about the intravenous route. So intravenous route, the injection of a drug directly into the patient's vein resulting in the most rapid onset of action. So you can see here from the sketch that this is intravenous, that the injection of drug directly into the patient vein. The second one is intradermal. So intradermal, this is another route that the drug is injected into the top few layers of the skin. Ideally, the drug is placed within the dermis used for the diagnostic agents. You can see here, so the angle is different from intramuscular. The third one is subcutaneous, so in subcutaneous, the injection of the drug is under the skin into the fatty layer. So this is the fatty layer and the injection of the drug is inserted here, but not into the muscle. So you should avoid the muscle. The absorption of the drug is rapid, for example, insulin. So insulin can be injected to the patient by subcutaneous route. Another one is intramuscular. Intramuscular mean when the drugs are injected deeply into the muscle tissue. You can see here, this is 90 degree. So if the drug is an aqueous or water solution, the absorption is rapid. However, if the drug is in an oily liquid or in the form of suspension, so it can prolong the release of the drug. Then enter arterial injection. 
So when the injections, they are given directly into the artery. Intracardiac injections. These are the injections which are given into the heart muscles or ventricle at the time of emergency only. But this kind of injection need a very technical person. Ordinary persons is not able to perform these procedures. Intrathecal injection. Intrathecal injection, these are given into the subcanoid space that surround, surrounds the spinal cord. This root is used for the spinal anesthesia, which are also called intrathecal injection. Intracisternal injection, these are the injections which are given in between the first and the second cervical nerve. Intracisternal injection is used for cerebrospinal fluid for diagnostic purpose. Peridural injection, so these are given in between the dura medium, dura mater and inner aspect of vertebra. It is used for the given spinal anesthesia. Another one is intraarticular injections. So these are given in into the articulating ends of the bone and the joint. So you can see here in all these diagrams. Intraarticular injection is used for lubricating the joints. Intracerebral injection. So in intracerebral injection, these are given into the cerebrum. Now there are some advantages of parental dosage form. It is useful for the patients who cannot take drugs orally. There is rapid onset of action and useful for the emergency conditions. Providing sustained drug delivery implants and deports injections like implants and IM deport injections. It can avoid the post pass metabolism. It can inject the drug directly into the tissue and target drug delivery. Useful for delivering fluids, electrolytes or nutrients that is called TPN, total parental nutrition. It can be done in hospitals, ambulatory infusion centers and home health care centers. There is complete bioavailability. Disadvantages of parental dosage forms, there is pains the site of injections. It is very difficult to reverse and administer drugs effect. Sensitivity or allergic reaction at the site of injections it required strict control of sterility and non pyrogenicity that are then other formulations. A trained and technical person is required it required specialized equipments, devices and technique to prefers and administer drugs more expensive and costly to produce. Now come to our the classification of parental strategic forms. It can be divided into two. So the first one is small volume parentals, which can be represented by capitals letters that is called what you can say here SVP and the second one is large volume parentals that is called LVP. So you can see here this is what this is large volume parentals this is the and this one is the small volume parentals. You can see here the overall procedures which is already given here. And small volume parentals, according to USP United State Pharmacopoeia, an injection that is packed in containers labeled as containing 100 ml or less. Large in large volume parentals, according to the classical this is the classical definitions you can see the large volume parentals they are parentals designed to provide the fluids 
and they form up drips. Calories like dextrose solution, erythrolytes in combination of these. The volume is up to 101 from 101 to 1000 ml. So it means it's composed, its volume is 500 ml to 1000 ml. While in small volume parentals, it containing 100 ml or less than 100. So we can easily differentiate between small volume parentals and large volume parentals. These are the parameters. So in parameters, the volume of the small volume parentals that is 100 ml or less and LVP large volumes parentals its volume is 101 to 1000 ml the roots of drug administrations of SVP are in you can say small volume parental it may be given to a patient in the form of IV, IM and subcutaneous while in case of large volume parentals it can be given by IV, LBP and non-IV or LBP. I mean that the drugs can be injected the LBP or large volume parentals can be injected in IV form intravenously and non-intravenously LVP. The dosage units, the SVP, they are available in single or in multiple doses, small volume parentals, while the LVP is in begivens, it is available in a single dosage unit. In SVP small volume parentals, the preservatives are used while in large volume parentals, there is no preservatives. In case of buffers, which can maintain the pH of the solution, so buffers in SVP small volume parentals, buffers are used while in LVP, there is no need to use buffer. Formulations in case of formulations, SVP can be formulated in the form of solution, the form of suspension, and the form of emulsions. While the large volume parentals are LVP, it can be formulated in the form of solutions, in the form of oil and water nutrients emulsions. In case of isotonicity, the SVP that is there is that is not essentials while in LVP large volume parentals the isotonicity adjustment is very important but it is not necessary in SVP small volume parentals in case of phyrogenicity small volume <coughs> parentals it is not essential while it is more essential and it must be there in case of large volume parentals. You can see here. Now come to world the uses. So you can see here that uh, in this parameters it can be used the SVP. So SVP are small volume parentals that has that is used for therapeutic and diagnostic purpose. While the LVP is used for the nutrition, detoxification, and during surgery. In my next lecture, we will talk about the formulations, bacteriostatic water for injection, sterile water for injection, water miscible vehicle, non aqueous vehicles, and other additives. Thank you so much for watching my lectures.